my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC Mexico. Yes, we are in Mexico right now, and I'm with my buddy William from Fifth Axis Work Holding. We're going to talk a little bit more about Fifth Axis, its capabilities, it being an American-made company, the details of that. But as we all know, William is the expert, and we all get to learn, including myself. So I am excited. William, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you, Tony. Excited to be here. Absolutely. So let's get right into it, my friend. Let's talk a little bit about when Fifth Axis started, how it's grown, some of the capabilities, because, I mean, to be fair, if anyone has ever been on Instagram in the manufacturing world, they found you guys, right? So let's talk a little bit about that history. Absolutely, Tony. So uh, Fifth Axis, as some of you might know, is uh, American-made uh, from San Diego, California, uh, founded around 2004, uh, great products, innovative products. Uh, Again, very, very much present on in Instagram and a lot of different sites. We're just happy to be here. We'd like to share some more information with you. Yeah, absolutely. So we're talking work holding. You guys have, I like this word, so I'm going to use it, yep. a smorgasbord yep. of products yep. that help people, uh, you know, really have ex extra rigidity in some of the machining. But Excellent. the name yeah. Fifth Axis, if I'm not mistaken, right. correct me if I'm wrong, right. comes from the fact that your two owners, Chris and Steve, were doing a ton of five axis work Correct. and did not have the work holding they needed to do that type of machining. So you guys invented a style of work holding that was incredibly right. effective in the five axis machining world. Absolutely, yeah, Chris and Steve, the owners, yeah, they uh, were experts, expert machinists uh, in the trade and uh, they, they saw in the market a need, a, a good need for robust, rigid work holding with great solutions. Um, and uh, as creative as they are, as you know, uh, creative geniuses that they are, they started uh, the work holding division, and uh, you know, a couple of years later, here we are. Yeah, and it's it's grown immensely, and I yeah. think you guys have a great marketing plan, let's say, that has right. gone a long way, including right. some upgrades on your website, which we'll get into in a we minute, will. which, which yep. makes the job really easy for someone who's right. just learning. Right. But the product itself. I don't know if founded on the dovetail is the right word, but we know that right. the dovetail is the most rigid way to hold something Absolutely. dating back to the days of the Egyptians, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And you guys are very well known for that dovetail. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, we've really taken off on the uh, concept of the de uh, dovetail, and we're selling it all across the world. And like Tony said, I mean, when you uh, are using a technology that's been tried and true, that where uh, you're actually joining a 45 degree with a 45 degree, uh, you have a very, very rigid uh, clamping, but also, um, you know, we've also in instilled and uh, include that capability in all our vices, which is very unique. Well, I want to take this a step back for just a second and right. start from elementary level. And the reason yeah. I want to do that is because Absolutely. there are so many people out there, and we're in Mexico right now, yep. so it's important to educate and help people understand what technology can do to help them create success, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So there's so many people out there right now that just have a flat jaw on a vise, right. and they're clamping every single material on it, Absolutely. and it doesn't matter how hard or how soft, they're yep. taking that vise and making it work. Absolutely. But what we're doing here with Fifth Axis is we're taking serrated jaws, we're taking Absolutely. flat jaws, we're taking dovetail jaws. So let's talk a little bit about the differences and how those differences can help the end user machine what type of materials and become uh, more effective in their machining due Absolutely. to that added rigidity. Absolutely. So all of our uh, all of our vices have three separate surfaces from which to clamp. As you can see here, we have the the parallels, which are you know the flat surface, smooth surface. But we also have the serrated teeth, and we have that dovetail profile. So that really gives the operator, the user, a, a lot of great choices uh, based on the material, the hardness of the material they're clamping, based on the application, based on if they're using a tombstone or not, you know, if they're using a pyramid. Uh, our product is basically made to be very user friendly and to be. Um, to, to, to be a, uh, a product that really provides value to all, all, all of our customers. So another thing I'd like to bring up, because you brought up tombstones, is yeah. in many parts of the world, right. automation is starting to become a really big deal. So exactly. whether it be pallet change and tombstones right. or robotics or whatever right. it might be, yeah. that's the case. However, here in Mexico, right. 
still we're using, utilizing a lot of three axis machining. So I think something that we should discuss is your quick change system with your rock locks on those three axis beds right. where I can switch it out in a matter of seconds and I can Absolutely. go from job to job. So let's talk a little bit about that rock lock base. Yeah, so um, our rock lock bases are made uh, and are compatible to a number of great brands out there. And we have a ton of different types and styles really based on the uh, T-slot dimensions and configurations. So we're, we're, uh, we're a company that uh, wants to be user-friendly, wants to be compat uh, have the compatibility for uh, each of the, each of the uh, manufacturers that, that, we that we service. And, and that's where our 3D compatibility tool comes in, which we'll discuss a little bit more uh, in, in, uh, in, in the next couple of minutes. But certainly, uh, this is a tool this is a, a, a base that uh, you'll be very happy with. It's made with a lot of uh, great products, great design, and, and it's especially going to be user friendly. So, Well, you mentioned the 3D compatibility yeah. tool, so let's jump into that. Sure. And why for not? those of you out there, <clears throat> When you're making decisions about what work holding do I want, right. what machine does it go on, what are my T slots, the dimensions, that, uh, the, yeah. the separation between the T, there's so much that goes into it, right? right? Three axis, three plus two, five axis, That's horizontal, right. vertical. I mean, there's just so much, right? And we, we oftentimes go, Ah, I'm just going to use what I'm used to. But yeah. that's not how we get better. We get better by educating ourselves and improving on that education. And with that being said, Fifth Axis has done something really unique right. and implemented a software where it allows you, and I'm going to let William do the details of this, but it allows you to go in, plug in your machine, and it pretty much says, here's your choices, and it does all the work for you. I hope that's I didn't right. take no, the no, thunder, that's, that's but that's fantastic. how it works, right? Yeah, so like Tony was saying, if you access fifthaxis.com, you go to downloads, you can actually use our 3D compatibility tool, which is a, an incredible tool that we spent a lot of time and effort uh, putting together for you. And basically you add, uh, it's, a, it's a site where you can add the machine making model uh, and ask a few questions like uh, work holding size um, and, and you know the, the type of uh, clamping you want. Do you want, to, do you want to use a dovetail for your application? Do you want to use the device? And the system will config, configure a setup for you. We'll identify the base that's compatible to your, your specific base and, uh, and specific make and model, which really takes out the, uh, the element of confusion, the, the old fashioned way of going through a catalog. We've done all the, all the hard work for you. And it really gives you that confidence to move forward and, and looking at you know, new setups and new, 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 more innovative ways to for your work holding, basically. And speaking of moving forward, let's close yeah. this whole thing out with Absolutely. some of the new technology that you guys have sure. either recently implemented or going to in the near future. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, this this year, uh, this year and next, it's going to be a, we're going to have a big, big push for automation products. And um, one of the one of the key products that we have are pneumatic bases. Uh, we also have a, a new product out called a pin vise, which you, we've been actually using in our fabrication and our production for a good while now. As you can see, it's really, really much a skeleton of a vise. And uh, this little guy here, uh, we have two or three sizes at this time and we'll keep developing as, as, we, as we can, but again, a very lightweight solution, special, especially for uh, you know picking up with robots and where there's weight restrictions and things like this. But, also could be mounted direct. It could be mounted direct to three, four, or five axis applications. But at the same time, we are also developing, you know, special risers for this, other work holding devices that will be able to use this. Right now, one of the biggest users of this would be tombstones. So you can actually mount these mounted uh, uh, horizontally or, 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 or vertically, uh, where we can put these on mini or, you know, medium tombstones. Uh, for fixture changes, so uh, a great new addition. So William, thank you so much for sharing thank this you. technology from Fifth Axis. Guys, hop on Instagram, at Fifth Axis, easy to find. The technology is amazing. William, you are amazing. You, I Tony. wish you continued success in Mexico. Guys, check it out, and thank you for watching MTD CNC.